Okay, so let's take a look at these uh, four examples. First derivative, if we've got 3x squared and we want to know the derivative of that, we're going to use the exponent rule. 3 times 2 times x to the 2 minus 1 simplifies to 6x. Okay? 2 minus 1 is to the power is 1. x to the power of 1, you don't even need to write, write it at that point. All right, the second one. The derivative of this guy, I didn't mention this, I guess I took it as uh, something you know, but when you add together things, you just can kind of go along the line doing them each independently. So x squared, we take the derivative of that first, it's 2x. We bring the 2 down front and we subtract 1 from the exponent, there we go. Minus 10 times x. This x we can think of as having a little 1 up there, so we multiply by 1. And then we have 1 minus 1, which is 0. But, you know, if this is x to the power of 0, then it's equal to 1. And it turns out we don't need it. And since we're having 10 times 1, we don't really need that either. And we get back to this answer. Okay. What if we have x to the power of 1 half? We're going to use our same square root rule or our same exponent rule we're going to bring the exponent down in front and subtract one from it one half minus one is equal to uh, sorry x to the negative one half or one over two to the one over x to the one half and then x to the one half also has a special notation you probably know one over two times the square root of x okay x to the one-half, you can also write that way. Last one, this guy we're going to need to use uh, the chain rule, okay? There's this w here, we don't need that. So what we should think of this as uh, is this is the natural log of something and then inside is a second function equal to 1 plus x squared, okay? So we can think of natural log of say x is equal to like g of x and then we need a new function for inside that we'll do h of x and if we're going to use the chain rule we need to basically say that uh, the derivative of this is equal to the outer term is g of x so let's take the we'll take the derivative of that inside that is going to be where'd it go our h of x and then we're going to need to multiply everything by the derivative of h of x okay so the derivative of this guy is equal to 1 over x and the derivative of this guy isn't too hard either it's uh, 2x okay the derivative of 1 you can imagine that as 1 times x to the power of 0 because x to the power of 0 is also equal to 1 and if we bring a 0 out front the whole thing disappears okay and then we have uh, x squared and the derivative of that is 2x okay so now that we've got these two kind of pieces we're gonna plug them together using this formula up here so f prime of x the derivative of that is 1 over x but Notice we're supposed to put h of x in, uh, in place of x, and h of x is equal to 1 plus x squared. So we get that for the first component. And then h prime of x is just 2x. So what we end up with is 2x over 1 plus x squared. And that is the derivative of that guy. All right, thanks.